Well hi there Amiga fans, this is Wrangler back again with another vi video. Uh, I hope you are all keeping safe and well under the lockdown caused by coronavirus. It's Easter weekend as I'm recording this and I have a couple of days off so what better to do than record another video when I can't go out and do anything else. So this time round I'm going to look at some software rather than hardware and a game that's recently been converted to the Amiga. Just before we dive into that, what Amiga am I actually running this on? Well actually it's not the AA3000 Plus that I looked at in recent videos. I've reverted to my day-to-day -day Amiga. This is an A4000D with a mediator card inside it and then on that mediator card is a PowerPC processor. Specifically it's called the Ragnarok uh, and I'm just mentioning that because that is at the top end of the PowerPC cards that currently work via the mediator uh, and therefore it adds 384 megabytes of memory so you can see here along with the sort of regular RAM uh, I'm up to half a gigabyte available to the whole system uh, and it's also a fast power PC so it runs at stock stop rating is 800 megahertz so what we're going to look at is the game running on this system uh, what I'm not sure about is whether it runs on the other power PC cards and runs as well on the other power PC cards that are available for the mediator system and work on it all the way down to the killer nick k1 and m1s which only have 64 megabytes of ram so if you've got this game working on your machine let me know in the comments box down below just be curious as to what it runs on uh, but without further ado let's go and have a look at it so what are we going to be looking at well it's devolution x so what is that it's a conversion of diablo to morphos uh, originally created by Marlon Bayer and Artur Darosik. Uh, so thank you to both of you, but the specific conversion we're looking at here to Warpos was created by Cowcat, and the binary that you can see here that uh, we're going to run is available on the English Amiga board. If you hunt around there, you can find this. The other file that you need is this MPQ file from the Diablo install. That's all you need to get this going. So uh, let's spark this up and see what happens. So we're into the opening intro video. Uh, you see this plays reasonably well on the Amiga. Actually, I might try and steal some of the code behind this because it looks like good uh, video player technology. Uh, I'm not going to play through all of this uh, because it's quite a long video, but you get the idea that this is running pretty well for, uh, a, for an Amiga. So let's just uh, get through that. So now we're into the main screen and let's start the game and see what we can do uh, yeah uh, kinda has to be doesn't it um, just as a reminder because I'm running this on an A4000D my hard drive is connected to the crappy IDE connector on the motherboard so loading stuff is slow I'm sure you could do better with a, a better controller uh, on the system but we'll give it the benefit of the doubt because it's the crappy onboard IDE and here we are in game so let's just go for a wander um, we'll ignore all these people I think for now and just head on out of the village Incidentally, uh, the music is quite loud, so let's turn that down. And you can see things like uh, changing the gamma 
all works fine. So hopefully that's a little bit brighter to see on the screen. And we'll head down into the dungeon. of this place has been fouled. Oh well, it may have been fouled, it's not going to stop me picking up a few gold coins while we're here. <coughs> Including those ones. Uh, a few skeletons, let's go and try and take those on. <coughs> Alright, terrible tactics here, but uh, See if we can get through these skeletons. So you can see the game plays pretty well, actually. It just seems just as fluid as it would have been originally. Um, and, you know, there's not going to be time to uh, play through all of this... Uh, dungeon in any detail because it's quite big but uh, it just gives you a sense of what the game's like it certainly seems to run just as well as the original so you know I just... so l let me just express again my thanks to Marlon to Artur and to Cowcat uh, for bringing this game to the Amiga uh, we now got some pretty good uh, war boss games on the Amiga that rate, play pretty well and this is a, a great addition to that collection so uh, let's hope there'll be a few more coming down the tracks sooner or later. The one issue I have noticed with the game is that actually when you do quit uh, it does seem to crash on exit but I think we'll forgive Cowcat that one um, but look here's a, a great game for the Amiga I thoroughly recommend it Break out your Amiga this weekend, uh, get your Power PC up and running, and if you haven't got one, get one. Um, and then uh, try Devolution X. It's worth uh, a few hours playing for nostalgia's sake, if nothing else. So that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed this quick video. See you again next time.